Hello rain clouds. Well, unlike yesterday, today I actually am setting out to purposely forage and loot the woods and whatnot. I've got boots on and everything. Got my coffee right here. <coughs> uh, even a coat to block the rain. Good idea. Fortunately, today is not as hot as yesterday. And I've got all sorts of uh, little modular packaging things going on so that I don't have to worry so much about squishing the berries. Still, I think I'm going to head to the uh, blueberry grounds first mm, because they don't squish as easily as, as raspberries, so I'm gonna end my day in that raspberry field. And yeah, I do intend to stay out uh, almost the whole day today. Like, uh, I've had a simple breakfast of uh, some slices of uh, rye bread with butter which is going to keep me filled up for quite a long. I've got some uh, candy bars stashed away and uh, some extra candy. <laughs> uh, I, I am not uh, specifically carrying water with me. However, point one, I do have uh, this quite substantial mug of coffee going on. And once it's empty, I can use the same mug to uh, fetch water from the river, for example, uh, if if I should really need it. And uh, and for true emergencies, I I have got some sort of uh, protein nutri drink thing. Oh, hello, frog. We never met. So yeah, onward. So, same place as yesterday. I'm gonna carry on on this road a little bit and then cut into the woods on my right. Onward! So, I cut through to my familiar path and uh, my plan is to get to those uh, abundantly blueberry -y, uh, woods. Uh, way over there uh, that I ran into uh, on, on the latest uh, long uh, walkabout. So those are a little bit farther off. I'm gonna have to walk this path and then uh, take one of the uh, light vehicle roads into the woods. And since it's such an obvious place, uh, it might be that somebody has already picked it all. But let's see. Hello. So this is the clearing that I came through yesterday and this is where I'm going to steer later on. But first, I'm going to check out these woods on this side. Uh, I need to find a good way in, like this path here. The one that I'm looking for is actually further down over there, past the farmhouse. But I could, I could enter here. And see where it takes me. Oh my, this is a big chanterelle. But I'm gonna leave this one for somebody else because today I am prepared for berries. I might change my mind if I run into a bigger colony, but I'm not gonna pick just a few. Bye bye! In a bigger, bigger colony, I think we actually might have something here. Like there's one. Um, growth there, one here, one here under the moss. So there must be the uh, root system uh, present in this area. Still, I'm gonna leave them behind. Hmm, this is the area that I usually see from afar, from the hiking path, which is a little bit over there. But since I'm, I'm geared up for adventure today, I'm gonna follow this faint trail which might be made by humans, might not be. And try to get to the other side. Also, I think I can faintly smell human poop, so I'm gonna watch out where I step and whatnot. Wow! <laughs> These ferns grow higher than I expected. I think I'm going um, back of the edge area 
because it will be so much easier to work for you the plant life and whatnot. Ooh, what's happened here? It's interesting. I can't tell if it's uh, wind that has done this or if perhaps some uh, some animals have waded through here. Interesting. Okay, so this uh, frontier area or, or forest edge or whatnot. Oh, who are you? Frog? Snake? Frog, I think. And this one's a little bit more agreeable walking-wise. Also, wading through the fern gully here has uh, left my clothes a little bit wet. So that's another uh, good reason to uh, avoid these for now. So yes, I'm going to steer myself to the hiking path if I can. And if I can't, I'm just going to keep the general direction and try to reach those uh, dreamy pine forests. Hmm. This lends to my animal's hypothesis. Like it's, it's boars who uh, scrape up the uh, moss like this. You know, with, the, with their beak. No, not beak. Snout. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure they have gone through those ferns there and maybe, maybe found a sleeping place there or something and then moved on. The path is faint, but it's there. So back on the civilized path. Uh, basically, this this is the shortcut that I couldn't uh, do if I had been able to cut through the ferns up there. I would have uh, uh, avoided this uh, whole loop and just emerged somewhere over there. But it seemed wiser to uh, seek out the path and. Uh, you know, stick to the known. Hmm. Birds are agitated about something. Wonder is it uh, is it some hikers or or other birds or what? Hmm. Fresh crater. This wasn't here last time I was here. I think. But look, the uh, uh, gro uh, ground soil is is still fresh on the on the roots. These are the woods I am looking for, and I'm going right in. So, I picked one container full, but it was a pain in the ass to get it full. So yes, I think it's better if I move elsewhere, because although there are still plenty of berries left in this particular area, it's evident that uh, a lot has been, been, uh, has been picked as well, especially the uh, biggest and ripest ones. Like the ones that are left are are the ones uh, better hidden and smaller and and so on. So this this little container took quite an effort to fill. Too much, <laughs> meaning I am going to find myself some new grounds and then I think I'm going to start working my way to the raspberry field. That's it. I'm having sneakers. Looks like it's building up another uh, thunder or something. Okay, so now I have turned my nose towards uh, the uh, towards the next place I want to go to and home. And instead of uh, walking out to the road over there, I'm trying to explore the woods a little bit and see if I can run into another fern gully or uh, perhaps uh, some mushrooms. 
because uh, I decided uh, I have room for them after all. Mighty Bohiagon. Okay, here we go. Up. Hello. I have run into a proper colony here. Whoa, this is what uh, full blueberry, bu blueberry bushes look like. However, I'm not gonna sit here, I'm going further in. Oh my. And I'm not even on the right spot yet. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna park my ass here for a while, have a snack, have some coffee, and then get busy. Welp, since I'm prepared as fuck today, I'm gonna wade right in here. I'm not even gonna look where I'm stepping, almost. Okay, the obvious answer, the thing that any sane person would do, would be just stay here all night and basically frolic. However, I think after I have filled this box and another one, then it might be time to go home. Alas. Oh wow! Among this uh, raspberry field, I think I have just found some genuine uh, blackbirds as well but it seems like they still have a long way to go before they are pickable. Certainly gonna mark the spot. So here's what I've caught today. I'm gonna leave it packed up because it's neater this way. Two boxes of blueberries, two big boxes of raspberries, smaller boxes of raspberries, and a handful of mushrooms. I might go and uh, try to find some more of those tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, that's the loot. I'm staying uh, in between the roads in the hopes of scoring a few more mushrooms on my way back. I mean, that's a valiant goal, isn't it? <laughs> Gotta get across this one. 